I mean, think about this fact. 327 individuals have done 6,000 of the theft crimes in this city. Yeah. I mean, they call them theft crimes. We used to call it oh. stealing, <laughs> taking other people's property. So 300 and some people, 327 people, 6,000, that's, that's 20 arrests where it's like 27% of New Yorkers want to move out of the state. Yeah. They want to move out of here. And it's driven by this crime fact. Jim Jordan represents somewhere where the crime rates are higher than New York City. Uh, Kevin McCarthy, Bakersfield. You have more of a chance of being a victim of violent crime if you live there than you do in New York City. Oh, that's gonna hurt! Ah, I do love this song. Come on, you guys know it. When Republicans are fact-checked over crime, it's it's one of my favorites. If they should have these meetings in Memphis, in St. Louis. As Jim Jordan and Kevin McCarthy see New York from the inside of a cab to avoid being told the same thing that Marjorie Taylor Greene was told when she came to visit. We will never accept hateful rhetoric in our city. Any rhetoric that is divisive, any rhetoric that uplifts white supremacy, we are pushing back against that in all its forms. Marjorie Taylor Greene needs to take her ass back to Washington and do something about gun violence. Fox News voice of sanity Jessica Tarlov was on hand to remind her co-hosts and viewers they're being lied to on the subject of crime. Tarlov pointed out the obvious to her never listening co-hosts that the House Judiciary Committee investigating crime in New York is 100% politically motivated. One, because of the obvious. Donald Trump called on his fellow Republicans in Congress to defund the FBI and Department of Justice, a day after pleading not guilty in New York to 34 felony charges. Let me be very clear. We are here today in Lower Manhattan for one reason and one reason only. The chairman is doing the bidding of Donald Trump. Committee Republicans designed this hearing to intimidate and deter the duly elected district attorney of Manhattan from doing the work his constituents elected him to do. But more so because, well, crime is much higher in other areas, especially cities in deep red state. Jim Jordan represents somewhere where the crime rates are higher than New York City. Uh, Kevin McCarthy, Bakersfield. You have more of a chance of being a victim of violent crime if you live there than you do in New York City. If they should have these meetings in Memphis, in St. Louis, tour the country, go to Toledo, go to Alabama. What went on in Alabama this weekend? It's heart wrenching. Oh, the so Sweet there's, 16 party. Yeah, it's just yeah. absolutely devastating. Um, or you have a kid, a 16 year old honor roll kid uh, who shows up to pick up his uh, twin siblings from someone's house, thinks they're there on a play date, he gets shot in the head. This is not about New York City. And they turned it into that because of Alvin Bragg. They wanted to show fealty to Donald Trump at this moment where he is saying that, that Alvin Bragg is coming for him. Because if they cared about it just being a crime, they would show up at a city where the crime is worse than it but is. But this here. is the first. Here's the thing. Since they couldn't push back on the fact she was speaking on this matter, just watch their reaction as she brings up another matter that is, yes, true also. The racially motivated aspect of highway construction. And it's not some new woke idea that suddenly came to fruition. It's actually been going on for decades. If you don't believe me, go drive the 710 freeway and Los Angeles, you'll soon realize. The history of it, so this goes back to the National Highways Act of 1956, and when there were changes in zoning laws, because finally we came around to the idea that blacks and whites should be able to live together, what the government did is they built highways through the middle of major cities to ended up destroying them. So, like, I, Interstate 375 cuts through Detroit, and there are a number of black communities that are essentially cut off um, just out in the abyss there on the other side of the highway without access to the same kinds of things that whites have access to. We talked about this as well, the, uh, the difference in outcomes for black communities or communities of color versus whites when it comes to pollution. There was a huge study in 2021 about the air quality in communities of color and blacks worse than other Minority groups, and certainly worse than whites, suffered from air pollution due to construction that's done in the places that they live. What about these communities? I'm curious because I always hear, I've heard this. That's not. It's not I, important. Listen, okay, I, that's okay. I just was curious. What, what do cities, you want me to? I, I what have city, Because we always, just, we're, we're told how bad it was as if it never gets better. 1954 is how many years? 70 years ago? 60, 70 years ago? And we always have to go back. We're always looking backwards. We always act like the sins of the 50s or the sins now. Why haven't, why hasn't your party improved this? 
Why, why, why is he talking about it now? Well, in, in, they, what city is this happening in? Is it a democratic city? What have you, your party, done instead of lecturing us on language or, or taking $800 million that was meant for the homeless and making it disappear? Where, 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 what are you doing? Right, rather than telling is, everybody that we're racist. Uh, first of all, I did not say that. Please I know, take I, know. I meant you generally. But don't, because <laughs> me is the only person sitting here, and I, I took <laughs> extra care to make sure to make this point in a thoughtful way that did not fall into the trap of this is just racism, mm -hmm. but to talk about it, the fact that there are systemic challenges to black people in this country that whites do not face because of where they live, because of the actions that our government took. So what have... Democratic representatives done for people suffering from this. Well, they were the ones that actually got the Flint water, water crisis paid attention to. It took too long, but that was all Democrats Thanks. fighting Flint. Not a big deal. Huge deal. They're, I mean, kids are drinking lead infested water. What's a bigger deal than that? But back to the topic of crime. It's an area that I regularly enjoy fact checking Republicans on. Not only because I live in and love one of their main targets, New York City, but they love to present their thousands of acres and all this space they have in these bastions of serenity when in reality these areas have higher crime rates and while i do enjoy talking about this nobody breaks it down better than Mehdi hassan as he did in this segment they're visiting a city to discuss victims of violent crime and the officials behind pro-crime anti-victim policies <laughs> I don't have to read on. They're clearly talking about Bakersfield, California, right? Violent crime in that area is so high that California's governor once called it the state's murder capital, with a homicide rate higher than LA and San Francisco. Yeah, it's that bad. Wait, I'm being told that's actually wrong. The hearing isn't in Bakersfield, it's in the state of New York but not in New York's murder capital, the county where Rochester is. It's not even in the second or third deadliest counties. Now, apparently they're going somewhere that doesn't even crack the top 10. Manhattan. Or are they targeting a prosecutor in a city that doesn't crack any of the top crime lists? Ah, that's right, because he's prosecuting accused felon Donald J. Trump. The leader McCarthy will also be in New York City the day of that hearing. But you know where he calls home? Yes, Bakersfield, California, which in pretty much any crime category is actually more dangerous than New York City. Bet you didn't know that. In 2021, it had a homicide rate almost triple that of New York City's. The rate of rapes reported there was also higher in Bakersfield than in NYC. The rate of burglaries more than quadrupled the Big Apples. Is that the fault of a liberal mayor or a progressive district attorney? Well, no. Bakersfield has a Republican mayor. And the district attorney ran with an endorsement from one Kevin McCarthy. The best part of waking up? Maggot tears in my cup. Check out the new Maggot Sears mug available now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.